The breath teaches us that life is cyclical and rhythmic. And we have like this automatic trust of the breath that the next breath will come. And what is it, what is it exactly that we're trusting? We're trusting that the source of life itself is there, that the source of life itself is coming, is moving through us. We trust it so much that we've, we've, uh, don't, we don't even question it. We just breathe. We just allow it to move in and out. I invite you for a moment to take a breath with me again, drawing in that source of life, feeling the trust that we have that we can just breathe, breathe easy and breathe clear. The breath also shows us that giving and receiving function in balance. You hear some people say that they have a hard time receiving in life, that they're better at giving and, you know, receiving is just, is really hard, whether that's like asking for help or various different ways that we receive. Can you imagine breathing out, but not breathing in? It's, a, it's impossible. It's at least not sustainable. And the breath shows us that we must take what we need. We've got to take it. And trusting, you know, being in that place of trust that more is always going to be available to us. There's no scarcity here. There's no scarcity in the breath. The source of life is always present to provide our next breath. And when we live accepting and trusting life, the way we trust our breath, it opens us up to a greater attunement with the source of life itself. I'll say that again, when we accept and trust in life, the way that we accept and trust our breath, we attune to the source of life itself. 